LA County hospitalizations dropped for the third day in a row. More than 4,500 were reported. There were also 63 more deaths and over 26,000 new cases. But weekend numbers are generally, generally lower due to reporting delays. And the new requirements to go back to class at Pasadena City College also caused some frustration. KCAL 9's Jeff Nguyen is live with more tonight. Jeff. So, Leslie, this is one of the test sites on campus. And beginning tomorrow, students and staff cannot wear a cloth mask. Instead, like a growing number of institutions and campuses, they will need a medical grade face covering and there's more. This is video posted to YouTube by the Pasadena City College Faculty Association. It shows long lines for COVID testing Saturday. The union says some people waited in line for about two and a half hours. We spoke to students who had different experiences. Well, the actual process doesn't take that long, but of, of them swabbing you, but going through the process took forever. There's lots, two lots, and then um, on campus um, walk up. So it's really easy. I mean, obviously, it's only for staff and students, but uh, it's very manageable. The school is requiring a negative test result within 72 hours before a return. Also, 58% of PCC's classes this spring semester are offered on campus. The other 42% are either online or hybrid. We have capped our classroom capacity in person at 50% this spring. That's an effort to help increase social distancing and to accommodate the additional space folks need uh, during this pandemic. The latest data from LA County says new COVID case counts have been decreasing and the daily positivity rate has been plateauing. What do you make of the latest data from the county? It is certainly encouraging. Dr. Rita Burke is an epidemiologist and an assistant professor at USC's Keck School of Medicine. She says testing and masking are key to more improvements. So we want folks to wear at least a surgical mask, if possible, a KN95 or N95. We want them to continue to get vaccinated if they haven't already received their vaccination, get a booster. Today we had two locations. Starting tomorrow we'll have five locations. PCC students and staff will be required to test weekly. Kevin Seaver is hoping he won't see a repeat of this weekend. So I'm like, okay, if this week took and like this week took like an hour, hour and a half, what's next week going to look like when everybody has to do it week by week? And PCC does not require its uh, students and staff to get tested on campus. They can go elsewhere and then upload the results to the school's website. We are live in Pasadena. Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.